la clase hoy vamos a hablar sobre el futuro. So when you think about the future in English, I want you to think about how you can say the future tense of, um, let's see this verb. There are two correct answers that you might have come up with. The first one is, I will speak. That's pretty formal. That's kind of like English essay type formal. And that's the future tense that you're going to learn, um, not this year, but in the future. <laughs> in the future. And then the other way you could use this verb to speak in the future is when you probably use it all the time. And you might say, I am going to speak. Or if you're really formal, another version of that is, I am gonna speak. Both of these two are what we're going to learn in class today in Spanish. So let's think of the verb to go. Do you remember what the verb to go is in Spanish? Hopefully you came up with Ir. So the verb ir is to go in Spanish. And if we take our verb table, let's think about the different forms of the verb ir. So go ahead, pause the lecture and fill out your ir table in your notes for all of the several elements. The person you're talking, who's talking, singular and plural. The person you're talking to. And this one needs to have formal and informal, and then the person you're talking about, singular, and when you're talking about a group of people. So hopefully you came up with yo voy, tu va, usted va, él o ella va, nosotros vamos, ustedes van, y ellos van. So all of these are the verb form of ear, Conjugated. So these are the conjugations. So the conjugation is when we take the verb and we change it for each of the different subjects. So the formula in order to take a verb and put it in the future is the verb ear conjugated. So that means voy, vas, va, vamos, van, plus a plus a second verb in the infinitive. So, a verb in the infinitive, I want you to think about what an infinitive is. Um, think about an example of an infinitive. So, and then I want you to think about what an infinitive, what letter an infinitive always ends in. So the infinitive is the the infinitive is the verb before you do anything to it. It's the one you find when you look up in the dictionary. It's the one that means to do something, and it doesn't have a subject. You haven't changed it. You haven't added any endings or taken off any, any endings either. So let's go back to our first sentence we had, to speak. And the infinitive for to speak is hablar. So in order to put this um, with some future context. We're going to take ear and conjugate ear. So let's say we want to say tu, talking to one person informally. So the conjugated form of tu would be las. And then we're always going to use the a. And then we have hablar. So our complete sentence is, oh, if it's going to be a complete sentence, it needs a period. So our complete sentence is tu vas a hablar. It translates pretty, pretty equally in English. We have you are going. That makes sense because vas means to go and are going is that also. So tu vas a, oh, I'm speaking in English now. So you are going, let's get rid of this a, to speak. So in English, the ah doesn't make as much sense, right? 
But in Spanish, the A is important because that's what makes the formula. That's what lets you know um, that you're going to do something, right? So when you see this A plus a verb after it, you know we're talking about the future tense. So let's practice. In your notes, I would like you to please write these translations. Number one, I am going to eat a lot. Be careful with a lot. You need to choose between mucho and muy, and I want you to think about which one you do correctly. You, sir, so talking to one person formally, are going to read a book. We are going to be friends. Think about the verb to be, whether it's ser or estar. And she is going to the principal's office. So these are all going. Um, but this one is going to be a little bit different than the rest. So I want you to be careful with that one. I will see you in class soon. I am going to see you. Voy a verte. Voy a ver. Ver means to see. So we have the future example there also. And I'm going to check your notes in class. Also be ready to use this in some activities in class.